I'll take some questions. Was there a light bulb moment? I know you said you've been considering it for a while. Was there some, something specific? Uh, thanks, Jeff. Look, it sort of builds up over time. It builds up over time. I didn't want to... Um, I sort of worked out I didn't want to fight the next election. And so the next election is, what, 20 months away or so? Um, you know, so therefore, at what point in time do I leave? Uh, and I wanted to give my successor, whoever that is, the opportunity um, to cement themselves and create their own way and their own agenda and uh, enough time to bed themselves in. I, as I said, um, I've done, I basically, that was a long statement, but I've, I've basically been in um, public life in one way or another for 30 years. So it's been the vast majority of my working life. Um, and uh, you get, you know, anyone who go, does the same job for 30 years, as you would understand, uh, would <laughs> maybe get tired and maybe look to, look, look to the future. Um, so, yeah, three years as a Rockingham City Councillor, and I'm very grateful for that, Deputy Mayor, and then 27 years basically as an MP. And in that time, I've never been a backbencher. So um, it's, uh, it's full on. Premier, I mean, um, you know, it's a great job. Uh, it, I mean, it's beyond anything I could ever have imagined would happen to me. I mean, I grew up, you know, my mum and dad and my brother, wonderful. I grew up in little country towns in northern New South Wales. And, you know, the idea that you'd one day become the Premier of Western Australia was so far removed from my thinking that it was just, I might as well become an astronaut. It's so ridiculous, the idea. But it happened to me. And I'm so grateful. Um, I'm so grateful. And the state's been wonderful to me. And the people here are just so sweet and so wonderful. But... I'm just exhausted by it.